and I'm starting at the back of the grid. I am Mr. John Kingston. That's not my real name, that's just the name of the driver I'm playing as. And uh, this is a tricky corner. Look at how many cars going into this corner. Um, driving and talking at the same time is pretty tough, but I'll give it a go because I really do not want to crash and end up with penalties and... Oh, and Senna's lost his front wing, see? He's not even talking and he crashed. So I'm now up to 16th out of 24 cars on the track and uh, De Resta nearly caused a collision there. But still, he didn't. Now we're on to the... Uh, so this is a good start, actually. This is a, an unparalleled start from... Uh, Ooh, a little bit of contact with Dorista's uh, back right wheel there, and that could have ended up in a nasty accident, but it didn't. And now I'm going to use a little bit of curse to get up on the outside of Dorista and possibly take him, and he did. We both Toro Rossos are through, but I am on the grass, and uh, my tyres are now really dirty, which is not going to help with grip. So, coming up now to this tricky sort of uh, flat out section, but I'm not going to go flat out because. I'm not confident in this car's ability to handle at all. Traction control is on medium, which means I could spin the car potentially if I'm not careful, and I don't want to do that, so I'm going to be careful. Uh, there's a racing line, which helps me uh, corner, because I cannot remember any of these layouts at all. I haven't played this game in months, but I thought that I would uh, jump back into it, because it was one of my favourite games back when it came out. So. So the end of the first lap, we have made some substantial positions. We've made 10 positions in one lap. Uh, that is good. Good start for Kingston's career. So Nice and on the brakes here. Not push it too hard as we come out of the corner. And now we can uh, accelerate further and forward. And my teammate is right behind me, which is uh, good or bad. I think that's bad because he's going to want to uh, prove himself to be better than the new boy on the circuit. Oh, this car's a little bit iffy going around there. It did not want to... Tr it wanted to step out, I could feel it. So I lifted off a bit and uh, it worked out well. And I'm going 11 seconds quicker than I was last lap, which is good. If it's purple, that means you're doing something right because you're going quicker than you were in the previous lap. So, And that's not surprising because that was the first lap, opening lap of the race, which is always slower than every other lap. So on the second lap in the Toro Rosso, my teammate is now on my inside and uh, he's going to try and mount an attack, but he will yield as he does there. Yep, I knew he would. The AI aren't that aggressive. Even on the higher levels, they aren't aggressive. They don't push you. I mean, they get ahead of you. Once they get ahead of you, like those guys ahead of me at the moment, anybody above me, as you can see, they're very far ahead. They're like about five or six seconds ahead, but the guys behind you, they just don't seem to attack. They just stick behind you in a little train. Don't want to step on it there. I'm at a very low gear speed and, or a very low speed, and a lot of power to the back wheels will cause it to spin out. So, yeah. The RS is enabled. I should. Wait, sorry. Let me let the. Uh, thank you for interrupting me, engineer. Basically, I have to be within a second of the car ahead to activate DRS on a certain straight that's uh, that's allocated by the FIA which is the start-finish straightway we started at the beginning of the race. So I'm only allowed to activate it when I'm in one second of the car ahead, and I'm not. So I won't be able to access DRS, but my teammate will be able to access DRS because he's within a second. So I will probably lose the position because he'll have a lot more straight-line speed than me. So I might save a bit of curves so I can uh, minimise the damage caused by his DRS usage. So third lap out of 15. So... This is tough. This is tough controlling this car. It just doesn't feel right. I mean, cars actually feel like an F1 car. It. I, mean, I don't know what an F1, real F1 car feels like, but it feels like it doesn't want to drive. And that's uh, a good thing, like because it's tough to drive F1 cars. And if an F1 car is uh, underdeveloped or it's not uh, set up right for a race, and uh, it can have serious effects on your lap times and where you finish. So. But I'd say it's, it's gripping quite well, I give it that. It's gripping quite well, so that's that's the main thing. Oh, as I say, it's gripping quite well. It spins out like a... And I'm blocking the racetrack, which is not good. And it's going to be a yellow flag. And oh, this is great. Damn it. 
was driving so well and now I'm just crashing out like hell. Now I need to get those positions back. Oh damn it. And I've got to pit a lap six, so I need to get past as many of these back markers as possible. Try and make a move here on Della Rosa into this corner. Oh, a little bit of contact, a little bit of contact, but I yielded and let him have the position back. But I'm going to try again here. And, uh, no, that's not going to work out the way I expect it to. That last corner that I span on is, is tricky and I don't want to hit Della Rosa at all. It's all about clean racing. That's what I'm all about. Trying to yield me off the track. So, no, I'm not going to fall for that. And you've lost out to that Caterham as well. Did they have an accident? Ooh, see there, look at the car. It wanted to go there and I managed to keep it, keep it on track. It's crazy man, this game. I have played F1 2010 and 2011, which is the two games before this one, so I'm slightly knowledgeable and I'm not that inexperienced, but uh, after playing this game, after not playing this game for a couple of months, it really does show you make a lot of mistakes. And Alonso has posted the fastest lap of the race, uh, the 129, which is very quick. I wonder who's in the lead. No idea. That last corner there is so tricky to uh, to get right. It's just crazy. You're at such a low speed, and you have to get enough speed to get onto the start finish straight. And I marked it up, and that's why I spam. So my tyres are very warm, and they're starting to get worn, which means I'm going to need to head into the pit lane and uh, sort them out. Ooh, calm and a bit wide there. Let's move on forward to this next section of corners, which is also very tricky. And I've got a dirty front right tyre, which is not going to help with grip. And my teammate's going to finish ahead of me, which is annoying. Well, it might not. Anything could happen in this race, so... Which is tough. My hands are really hurting. Like I'm clenching the controller quite hard, and it's hurting my hands. There we go. And they got around that quite nicely there. So uh, my 135 is my best. I'll try and improve upon that. This car is going to take some work uh, because this car, because cars can be developed through the season. You can buy like. Or you can earn upgrades by doing certain challenges in uh, practice mode and stuff like that. So you can make your car better than it is now. So, wow, wow, it's sleuthing around there. Sleuthing is not even a word, or is it? I don't know. Mm, yeah, I forgot about fuel. You can put your fuel count up to uh, to rich, which will make your engine uh, rev faster. So you can get better speeds and everything. As we come up to, ooh, better not get a puncture from all of that debris there. Someone had a little bit of an accident with somebody back at that corner. And you can get punctures as well, so I hope that doesn't give me a puncture. That would be really annoying. Uh, I doubt it will, but I hope it doesn't. We had a gap of about three ooh, the car wanted to step out there. It's, uh, it's, it's not a healthy man. This thing's going to take a little bit of a uh, little bit of work to. Uh, and a, and a nice setup to get it working properly. So I need to work out some setups for this car and then really implement them and, and start qualifying well and finishing races, preferably out of the top 20. And I have to pit this lap, which I did almost forget. <laughs> so pitting basically just gives you new tyres and uh, someone has crashed. Is that a Ferrari? That's Felipe Massa. He's had an accident and you know, he's in my way. Yep, he's lost his front wing, yeah, so it's uh, not good for Ferrari. They should be at the top. <laughs> the car behind has lost his front wing. So into the, the pits pit. we go. Into the pits. So we need to be careful with our tyres because they're going to be very cold and uh, they're not going to be 
warm yet. So we need to warm them up and uh, it's going to be tough to drive the, drive those tyres because it's going to be tough cornering, grip and everything. Cold tyres is not good. Need warm tyres, so it's going to take a couple of laps to warm them up. Stay clear of the white line. We don't want a penalty. No, we don't. So be careful. As you can see, they're very they're, they're bright blue, which means that they are very cold, and they need to be warmed up. An HRT car just ahead of you. So cornering needs to be very done, very handled, very carefully, and not too violently. Um, these cars, these kind of cars, just step out when the wrong amount of power is applied around the finish of the corner. I cannot speak today at all. I can't find the right words. I'm driving at the same time. It's tough. So it's 7 out of 15. And we've got Carthur K, and I think that's how you say that, up ahead of us in the HRT. I want to get ahead of him. So we're going to try and make a move on him. We're going to use his slipstream, pull out of it, and almost crash into the wall. He's not yielding at all. I don't want to have an accident, so yeah. We'll try it on a less dangerous corner than that one. We'll try it here. Heavy braking. And we have made up a position. That's 18th place. Which is awesome. Now we need to get ahead of these back markers. Oh, I've gone onto the gravel. Not good at all. I didn't corner that one properly, did I? And now I need to be very careful when I exit at this corner here because it could spin out easy. You're on the slower tyre, but you're maintaining the gap for the car ahead, so we're very happy. This is and we're going to make up another place because that guy's in the pits. 17th place. Yeah. Daniel is four cars ahead of you. Here we go. 17th place. Now Toro Rosso and Kingston on his first race is... He's not doing that bad, but he's not doing that good either. He would probably prefer to be a little bit higher up. Maybe even challenging for uh, for a points position, but it's too early to be going for points in this season. But we will be looking to get some points, which is uh, the main top main uh, the, the main target of the season. Looking behind is my main downfall in this game. If you look behind, you don't look ahead, which means that you miss certain things. Like you could look behind, then you could enter it into a corner, and then you'll crash. So let's try and catch up with uh, Petrov in uh, in that catering up ahead. You picked up some marbles. Expect reduced grip until you can wear them off. Stay on the racing line. Marbles are um, are bits of rubber off of other cars' tyres, and they land on the track, and they reduce grip into corners. And uh, there isn't any marbles on the track anyway. I don't know what that engineer is on about. He talks rubbish. He does. He really does talk rubbish. So my engine is on rich. I've got three laps of fuel, which will uh, plus three laps, which means I've got enough to finish this race. So I'll have three more laps than 15. So we're going to keep it on rich for the meantime until that gets to say plus one lap, because we need to catch up with Petrov. Because uh, 17th isn't good enough for me, man. 17th isn't good enough. <clears throat> Use all the rest of my cars into this corner, heavy braking. And that will warm the tyres up, or warm the brakes up even. And now I've got an itchy cheek. Uh, face cheek, not butt cheek. Oh, damn it. <laughs> so, point four. I don't know what green means. I think it means that... I'm trying to think what green means. I know that purple means that you're faster than your previous lap. I think green means that... I think I know that red means that you're not as fast. Green? I can't remember what green means. What? Damn it. Shows you what happens when you don't play this game for months on end. Anyway, so lap 9. 17th place. Kingston would prefer to be a little bit higher than this. Uh, and he's crashed. Oh, that's not good. That is a terrible accident there for uh, John Kingston in his first, first Grand Prix. And he just... What happened there? We can have a look at this in deep. He was well off the track coming into the thing and he... The car just lost grip and... and bang. 
Hey, it's just a nasty accident. So this race has been cut dramatically short from a terrible accident there. That looked nasty. We'll have a look at it once more because accidents like that don't happen often. I just the car lost grip. You can see the uh, you can see the the, the tire marks there. The car lost all grip, and that is a nasty accident. Head on into the wall, and bang. And that is a retirement for Kingston in the Toro Rosso. So that was Formula 1 2012, episode 1. I didn't intend it to end with an accident like that, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this first race. So please like and subscribe for other games, and uh, thank you for watching.